one we're playing. It's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the real news. The real fake news, that is. So, our first story tonight involves a young woman and an elderly man. Apparently, they were fighting over a masking issue on the plane, but rumors have it, according to my documents here, that the elderly man actually had an RTX 3090 hidden under his seat. So that's the real reason why they were fighting. So let's go ahead and watch the clip and let's just see exactly what happened. <laughs> Hell, man, those those two arguing back and forth, man. I can't believe she did what she did. That was uh, it's pretty crazy. So, man, so we don't want to be in that situation. So, our second story tonight actually involves a guy that was cutting in line of a group of people that were waiting to get their hands. Let's go ahead and play that clip and let's just see exactly what happened in this one. What are you going to do, dude? What are you going to do with the whole crew of people? You just skipped an entire line of people been waiting here since the What am I going to do, dude? Get them back to the... Alright, well, I mean... I that uh, that definitely got heated between those guys. I guess some people are just very passionate about getting their RTX graphics cards. All right, so that does it for this edition of the real news, the real fake news. So everyone have a good night and keep on doing what you do. What up my fellow gamers, welcome back to another exciting video, I hope everyone is having a great day and thanks for tuning in. So in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at some of AMD's most modern hardware. So the CPU I'm going to be taking a look at is the AMD Ryzen 5 7500F. 6 core 12 thread processor that's only available in China. Now, out of all the 7000 series, this one is definitely rated on the bottom, or at least a lot of reviews have showed it to be that way. And I'm just gonna give my thoughts on that and say, actually, I do agree with them. The uh, 7500F is definitely one of the weaker CPUs in the 7000 line which is a bit surprising, but it does still perform well in a lot of the CPU intense games. So as you're watching the video segments, you'll definitely see which games it struggles in, which games it doesn't. And then as far as the GPU, the graphics card, I'm gonna be using the AMD Radeon RX 6500 XT. Now, when this card first came out, everyone hated it. Everyone said it was a waste of silicon. And my thoughts on that card at that time was they weren't necessarily wrong. I mean, it, it definitely wasn't the, the greatest card. So of course, looking at it here now, today's day and age, you know, I, I definitely can uh, tell you, right? And I'm gonna cheat a little bit before you actually see the videos and just say that. It actually performs performs well. I mean, I'm not gonna say great. I mean, the four gigabytes of VRAM definitely does limit it, but it definitely was able to play most of the games at uh, you know some pretty decent settings as you watch the graphic 
intense games, the GPU intense games, you'll see it actually did very well, you know, especially like in Fortnite and some of the other ones. So believe it or not, it's actually still, still not a bad card, you know? Um, the only downside to that card is that the price. I mean, it still goes for like 150, 200 dollars, and it's it's not worth anywhere near that amount. I mean, I wouldn't pay more than 100 dollars for that for this graphics card because again, it's uh, yeah, it's, it's not not the best card out there that you can get for the price range that uh, AMD is giving it to you. But overall, I mean, this this hardware combination works very well together. I mean, the CPU and the GPU work fine together and I mean the combination is going to handle any modern game very well so that's just uh, of course my quick thoughts on uh, the hardware that you're going to be looking at here in the gaming segment so I hope everyone enjoys them and before we get to those segments of course remember to like and subscribe to the channel you know and I'm just always thankful for every view every like and of course remember to Visit my Etsy store, you know, buy a few shirts. That's one way you can support me. But of course, the best way to support me is definitely to go to my PayPal donation link. All my descriptions are on the bottom. You know, and just send a buck my way. You know, I mean, I would love one day love to be able to just buy better hardware, you know, and just upgrade. But, you know, of course, I, I need your help to do that. So without much further delay, let's get to those videos. What up, what up everyone? So in this one I'm playing Lost Ark. I'm using the AMD Ryzen 5 7500F paired up with the Radeon RX 6500F. So let's take a look at the graphics settings and see what I'm playing with here. Full screen borderless, 1440p, also known as 2K resolution. Playing on high settings, so in Lost Ark, high settings are the second to best settings you can get. You know, as far as the uh, graphics settings, we don't have a whole lot to play with here. I mean. Generally, Lost Ark isn't a very GPU-demanding game. Nonetheless, I mean, it is still a GPU-based game. So, what the settings are, you know, not, not a whole lot to see there. So, all right, so with that out of the way, let's just go ahead and just jump into the game. And as always, let's just see how many frames per second I can get using this hardware combination. How's it going, my fellow gamer? So in this one, I'm playing good old Rocket League. I'll be using the RX 6500 XT paired up with the Ryzen 5 7500F. So let's go and take a look at the graphics settings, see what I'm playing with here. So green, full screen borderless, 1440p, also known as 2K resolution. Anti-aliasing is set to as high as it can go. And I'm playing on a quality setting. So you can see here, quality, quality. And then same thing up here, quality, quality. Particle detail just always goes to high quality whenever you go to LED settings, but uh, these are essentially the uh, second to best settings in uh, Rocket League. Rocket League really only has, I guess you could say, like a high, medium, low. So these would be like medium settings, so okay. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and just jump into a match. And as always, let's just see how many frames per second I can get using this hardware combination. Hey there everyone, on this one I'm playing Dota 2, I'll be using the Radeon RX 6500 XT with the Ryzen 5 7500F. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graphics settings, see what I'm playing with here. Playing at full screen borderless, 1440p, 2K resolution. Playing on uh, the, the second to best setting, so I mean I guess lowest, low, medium, high is how I would describe the settings in Dota 2. So they're like the best, second to best settings, so that's what I'm playing with there. So okay, now that we've had a look at that. 
Of course, it's just uh, watch a match here and let's just see how many frames per second I can get using this armor combination. The tools. Gaia's top tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's courier has been killed. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Hi there everyone, so in this one I'm playing Erika, I'll be using the RX 6500 XT with the Ryzen 5 7500F. I'm just going to take a look at the graphics settings, see what I'm playing with here. So, playing at full screen, 1440p, you have a frame rate limit of 120. As far as uh, the settings go, I am playing on low settings. So, in Erika, you can see on the screen, lowest, low, medium, high, highest. So, playing on the second to lowest settings, and we'll just go down and kind of see what that looks like here. That's what I'm playing with here. Now, of course, I mean, it does have like FSR graphic assistance there, but uh, you know, I'm gonna leave it off because you know, of course, you put like, you always wanna try and avoid it as much as possible, but sometimes you do have to use it, but what I am playing with there. So, okay, so with that out of the way, let's just go ahead and jump into a quick match. And as always, let's just see how many frames per second I can get using this armor combination. What up, my fellow gamers? So in this one, I'm playing Destiny 2. I'll be using the Ryzen 5 7500F paired up with the Radeon RX 6500 XT. So as always, let's go and take a look at the graphics settings, see what I'm playing with here. Playing at full screen, windowed, 1440p, also known as 2K resolution. And then as far as the graphics settings, I'm playing on medium. Of course, medium is, well, uh, medium. <laughs> so we'll look at the settings here. You can see what medium settings look like. And then, of course, the render resolution is at 100. So it is a true 2K resolution. So... You know, the good thing about Destiny 2 is, you know, there is some customization, so what we're looking at there, so let's go ahead and just back up, open the director, find the Cosmodrome, and of course head down to the good old Steep, and of course, uh, as always, let's just see how many frames per second I can get using this armor combination. What up, fellow gamers? So in this one, I'm playing good old GTA 5. I'll be using the AMD Radeon RX 6500 XT paired up with the AMD Ryzen 5 7500F. So let's go and take a look at the graphics settings, see what I'm playing with here. Playing at full screen, windowed borderless, 1440p, also known as 2K resolution, and V-Sync's off, and of course, FXAA, some anti-aliasing is on. And then, as far as the uh, settings go, I'm playing on very high settings. So in GTA 5, these are the absolute highest settings you can get. I mean, you can't really get any higher than this. I mean, other than just increasing the resolution, right? 8K, 12K, 20K, or whatever's out there nowadays. So that's what the uh, graphics settings look like. So, you know, a lot of customization as always in GTA 5. So, all right, so now that we've taken a look at that, let's go ahead and just jump into the game and let's just see as always how many frames per second I can get using this hardware combination. All right, so I've arrived at my favorite area, the gym area. How's it going there, gym bros? Oh man, looks like there's a lot of them today. Don't mind me, gym bro. Just walking by. Oh man, look, he looks like he's ready to go. Oh man, look at that. Yeah, these gym guys, they don't- Oh man. Ooh, look at you trying to hit me there. Alright, how tough you are, gym bro. Yeah, oh yeah, knock your glasses off there. Not so tough are you. Oh, ouch. Man, that woman. The mean woman there, look at her, she's pretty big. Oh, jeez. Hope you missed- Oh, no. What a mean lady. What up, my fellow gamer? On this one, I'm playing good old Fortnite. I'm using the AMD Ryzen 5 7500F paired up with AMD Radeon RX 6500 XT. So let's go and take a look at the graphics settings, see what I'm playing with here. Full screen, 1080p. You have a frame rate limit of 120. And as far as the uh, graphics settings, I'm playing on what I would call medium settings. The reason why it says custom is just because I have FX set to epic and I have view distance set to epic. And of course, shadows are medium. Of course, no nanite or lumen or anything like that. So, of course, the uh, resolution is at 100%. So, you know, so we are playing at a 
true 1080p. So that's what the uh, settings look like there. So, okay, so now that we've had a look at that, of course, let's go ahead and ready up. As always, let's just see how many frames per second I can get using this hover combination. Hey there everyone, so on this one I'm playing Warzone Modern Warfare 3 version. I'll be using the AMD Radeon RX 6500 XT, paired up with the AMD Ryzen 5 7500F. So let's go ahead and take a look at the graphics settings, see what I'm playing with here. The full screen, borderless, 1440p 2K, and there it is, RX 6500 XT. So just kind of go down and take a look here, see what options are on and off. So, you know, of course V-Sync's off, because you know, I definitely want to see just how many frames per second I can get. And then on quality settings, I'm actually playing on basic settings. So you can see there, basic is the second to lowest you can get in Warzone. We are playing at a true 100% render screen, you can see right below it. And then as far as the uh, upscaling, I am using some frame rate assistance, using AMD FSR 2.1, playing on balance. You know, nowadays, I mean, a lot of people tend to use frame assistance software. So what does basic settings look like? Well, this is what the settings look like here. You know, the thing with Warzone is there's always a lot of customization. You definitely can turn off and turn on stuff, you know, to make the game run smoother. But that's what everything looks like here. So overall, not too bad. Okay, let's go and just back up and ready up. And as always, I mean, I'm just going to see how many frames per second I can get using this hardware combination. What up there, my fellow gamers? On well, this one, I'm playing good old PUBG. I'm using the Ryzen 5 7500F with the RX 6500 X. So let's go and take a look at the graphics settings and see what I'm playing with here. Playing at full screen borderless, 1440p, also known as 2K resolution. And of course, you know, unlimited FPS. You don't want to see how many frames per second I can get. And of course, VC's disabled. And I'm playing on medium settings. PUBG medium settings are medium settings and render scale is 100. So definitely playing at a true 2K resolution here. So you can see. So, you know, the thing with PUBG is there's not a whole lot of customization. And what you see on the screen is really all there is, so not, not too much to play with or look at there, actually. So I think that's why people like this game so much. Going to back up, and of course just jump into a good old match here. And as always, I'm just going to see how many frames per second I can get using this hardware combination. What up, fellow gamers? So I'm playing good old Dead by Daylight using the Radeon RX 6500 XT with the AMD Ryzen 5 7500F. <laughs> Let's go take a look at the graphics settings, see what I'm playing at here. So playing at medium settings, so medium settings are, well, medium settings. And playing at the full screen window, 1440p, also known as 2K resolution. And as far as the settings go, right, no V-Sync and the FPS limit is set to 120 because it's as high as the developers will let you go. And you know, of course, some anti-aliasing on. I'm not using any frame rate assistance. Of course, for Dead by, Dead by Daylight, these all these options are brand new. So it's nice that developers finally gave us all this. So pretty much everything there. So that's what I'm playing with. So let's go ahead and just back up, select our character. And of course, as always, just jump into a match and uh, just see how many frames per second I can get using this hardware combination. What up, my fellow gamers? So in this one, I'm playing Valorant. I'll be using the AMD Ryzen 5 7500F paired up with the AMD Radeon RX 6500 XT. So as always, let's take a look at the graphics settings, see what I'm playing with here. So playing a windowed full screen, 1440p, also known as 2K resolution. And then of course, under graphics quality, playing on the lowest settings. Because again, I mean, I want to just see how many frames I can get, you know, just how high can I get. So when I'm playing there, you know, Valorant, there's not really a whole lot of customization. I mean, graphic settings are fairly simple. So there's just more look there. So yeah, so not a whole lot to see. Going just back up, of course, jump into a good old deathmatch here. And as always, let's just see how many frames per second I can get using this hardware combination. Take it down.
Hey there, my fellow gamers. So in this one, I'm playing CSGO 2. I'll be using the Ryzen 5 7500F paired off with the Radeon RX 6500 XT. Let's go ahead and take a look at graphic settings. Let's see what I'm playing with here. Playing at 1440p, full screen windowed, also known as 2K resolution. And then as far as uh, the settings, you can see on the screen, I'm playing on low settings. Now, on the custom pre, I know on the value presets it says custom, but the reason why is because for some reason, whenever you set it to low, it always turns on uh, FSR. And of course in CSGO, you know, FSR, you know, you definitely don't want to play with because the input lag. But, uh, I mean, graphics are pretty simple in CSGO 2. What you see on the screen is what you get. So, pretty much what I'm playing with there. You know, not a whole lot to see. So, with that out of the way, of course, as always, go ahead and just jump into a good old match here. And as always, I'm just going to see how many frames per second I can get using this hardware combination. What up, what up, everyone? So in this one, I'm playing good old Apex Legends. I'll be using the AMD Ryzen 5 7500F, paired up with the Radeon RX 6500 XT. So as always, let us take a look at the graphics settings, see what I'm playing at here. Full screen borderless, 1440p, also known as 2K resolution. Of course, no V-Sync, because definitely want to see just how many frames per second I can get. And of course, the streaming budget's at 4 gigs, because that's what this card is capable of. But besides that, I mean, everything else is, uh, is such a high. I mean, the thing with Apex Legends is it is a GPU intense game, but it's not a very demanding GPU game. So you can see that the graphic settings aren't very simple. I mean, the great thing about this game is it runs just about on anything, really. So, I mean, that's always a great thing. I mean, it is a fun game at the end of the day. So, okay. That out of the way, let's go ahead and just ready out. And as always, let's just see how many frames per second I can get using this hardware combination.